Hello, my fellow scientists. Tonight, I want to talk about how to make matchstick rockets, and I just want to caution. I don't believe that this is likely to cause any damage, but uh, this is for adults and adult supervised young people only. Please don't burn down your parents' house uh, trying this. Get uh, permission and supervision if you need it. We want to start with a pair of scissors, book of matches, aluminum foil, a lighter, and some sort of pin or paper clip. Now, I also recommend having a blowtorch and some wire, but we'll get to that. Take your match and a little square of aluminum foil. Wrap the aluminum foil around the match head, squeezing securely, and then insert your pin along the sides of the match to open up a little vent hole. That vent hole is where your exhaust gases are going to come out. Now, I originally thought maybe I could use two metal wires to pass current through the aluminum foil and light the match head that way. This did not work. New plan, move the match right up to the top of your ramp and then use a source of flame such as a lighter or I preferable blowtorch and that'll set off your match head. Now here's the trick. You got to get those vent holes just right. If they're too wide you don't get good velocity on your exhaust gases. If they're too narrow it just burns through any little pinhole in the wrapping. So getting the vent holes along the short side of the match so right along the narrow side if you will seems to work a little better and getting them just the right depth is also really important. So I think this would make a wonderful science fair project for a supervised young person who could try lots of different variations on wrapping and pinning and spacers and lengths and weights to get just the right version such that when you apply that heat you get just the right result. Let's watch that in slow motion. So if you get everything perfect it can work really well. Here's my best recipe so far. Clip your match about halfway. Wrap the head in a square of aluminum foil just barely big enough to wrap twice around and use two spacers right along that side of the match to hold the hole open for the exhaust gases. You can remove those spacers afterward. This allows you to really press tight on that aluminum foil so you get a pretty good seal all the way around except for where those little spacers are. I've used copper wire, you could use pencil lead or pins, but once you have it really well crimped pull out your spacers and you're ready to launch. You can even see those little vent holes along the side if you look carefully. I also like this metal ruler as a little ramp. It worked a lot better than my uh, wire ramp that I constructed myself. You can use a lighter, I'll demonstrate. I really do prefer the blowtorch though. The lighter makes it a little bit unpredictable and it actually startled me when it went off. But if you get it right, Oops, there it goes. Let's watch that in slow motion. So I hope that was fun. I think that that would make a great science fair project in, or just demonstration to show momentum and oxidizer and fuel and optimization. What makes the rocket go farther? Do you have to remove mass? Do you have to remove... Uh, the size of the vent holes, what's optimum, what's best. Nice opportunity to show hypothesis and driven research and problem solving. So I think it's a good little trick to know of for those kinds of school assignments. Uh, but do be careful and stay safe out there. It's been Peter Allen for the Allen Lab.